what is going on? I want to make sure you could hear me and see me. Give me a quick thumbs up. Let me know where you're watching this from. I'm actually in Philly to do a seminar. So I'm excited to get away for the weekend. But let me know where you're watching this from. Part of the world. And let me know if you can hear me clearly. The Wi-Fi in my car is not ideal. But give me a quick thumbs up if you could hear my voice nice and clear. And let me know where you're watching this from real quick. Awesome. So, I just had a great conversation with a friend of mine about a concern that a lot of people have. And I want to get into what I told him and perhaps what I can share with you. So, let me know where you're at. Age, sex, location, please. I'm in Philadelphia in the United States doing a seminar this weekend. Excited to get away and connect with some really cool people. Thank you, Jared, for confirming, nice and clear. So, I just had a great combo with a friend of mine. He's going through a rough patch in his life. Essentially, he's going through a breakup. And because of the breakup, he's not doing that well with the rest of his life. You know, when you're uh, down in the dumps, you're dealing with something traumatic, it's like your business, your fitness, your own personal well-being is kind of put on the side. And he's not really marketing himself, growing, promoting himself, and he's really down in the dumps. And I said to him, like, it doesn't matter like how slowly you go, you could take some time off, you could work on your trauma, soon you'll get back on track. So, we have a tendency to think that people are so concerned about our lives. If our business is not doing good, if we're not on top of our game, it's like people give a shit, but people don't. Why? Because people care about themselves. At the end of the day, people are so concerned about the things in their life, how much money they're making, how much money they're losing, if their business is moving forward, going backwards, if they're not on top of their game. And that's the whole thing, like, you could take time off, you could take a break, you could slow down, but as long as you don't stop, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are in your life. You could be on top of the mountain or the bottom of the valley. That's exactly where you need to be. And I wanna get your thoughts on that too. And um, what advice I should give to my friend who's going through a breakup and is not at the top of his game. So what is your thoughts on dealing with a challenge, you know? Um, I, I don't know what it is this week, but I heard a lot, a, a lot of tragic news, uh, people breaking up, getting out of relationships. Unfortunately, uh, a few people passed away. You know, on social media, you, you get hit with like so much good news and bad news. You know, people take it to share what they're going through. So if you know someone who's going through a tough time in their life, what advice do you have for them? Please put it in the comments, right? If someone's going through a tragedy, uh, uh, someone they love passed away, they're going through a breakup and their heart is healing. And let's say they're not on top of their game. They're not showing up to their, their workouts. They're not eating the right way. They're not promoting their business. They're not giving their role at their job. They're not staying on top of their daily rituals. What advice do you have for them, right? I say like whatever you're going through in life is exactly what you need to be going through, right? As cheesy as, as it may sound, essentially everything happens for a reason. So if you're at a low point in your life, slow down, take a breather, heal. It's happening for a reason. You're not supposed to be always killing it, moving forward, progressing it, right? Um, my life is a lot of ups, ups and downs, right? So when I'm in an up phase and I have momentum and things are going in the right direction, I'm grateful and I'm pushing hard, but at the same time, I'm staying grateful and staying present, right? When I'm going through a down phase and I'm suffering and I'm struggling and I'm going through a traumatic thing, at the same time, I slow down and I realize like, all right, this is happening for a reason, so I'm not gonna keep pushing hard because God forbid, when you're tired, when you're feeling sick, when you're going through a, a tragedy, and you fake it and you keep on pushing, well, that's what happens. Like, you get sick. 
you're going against the grain. Things get worse. Everything happens, right? Life puts things in front of you for you to learn from them, right? Everything is a learning experience. Whether you're in a positive growth phase or you're in a slow phase, it's really being present to, to wherever you are and not being in a place where you, 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 you're, you're going against reality, right? There's a concept, loving what is, whatever you're going through is happening for a specific reason. And if you fight against it, you're gonna suffer. But when you live in acceptance, like this is happening for me to teach me a lesson, for me to learn from, then you'll learn. You, you're allowed to slow down. You're allowed to take some time for yourself, right? We're not in a place where we have to be go, 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 go. Life happens. Tragedies happen, terminal illnesses, death, trauma. And in these moments, you have to slow down and just accept where you are. Accept where you are and learn from it. Like I said, no one is watching other people. No one's looking at your bank account, looking at your business, looking at your scale. And no one gives a shit that you're not on the top of your game. In fact, in these moments where you're going through a challenge, you're going through a, a burdensome time, you should be authentic about it. Share with other people. Like I was telling my friend who's going through a breakup, you should tell people that you're suffering, your heart is broken, open up about that. Don't pretend like all is well and you're killing it and life is good. You have to open up and be transparent when you're going through pain or trauma. And the more you open up, the more you connect with people because every single person, 7.5 billion people on this planet it's going through something that we know nothing about. We're all dealing with some type of pain or challenge, right? That's the human condition. Our mind looks for problems. So every single person is dealing with some problem, whether it's like a severe problem, like a breakup or a death or a stupid problem, like your business is not as productive as it should be, or this week you gained a pound or two, right? It doesn't matter the scope of the problem, everyone is going through something. So James says, the ego prevents most people from doing that, absolutely. The ego is looking for the problem. The ego is looking for, you know, this is not working in my life, so I need to suffer. And that is bullshit, right? Whether you're winning, you're having your best month ever, or your shittiest month ever, it's just being present to what is and accepting what is and not wanting things to be different. It's being in a place where you accept things for as they are. So anyways, let me know real quick where are you watching this from. I'm in Philadelphia doing a seminar this weekend. Very excited. And if you can hear me and if you have some advice, advice for people who are going through a tough time, right? Because in every moment, the people in our lives are either winning and thriving, they're in a place of momentum, everything's falling into place, or they're suffering, they're dealing with a challenge, they're in their head, there's a problem that they're facing. And the reality of it is that there's times in life where we move forward, we have momentum, and things are falling into place, and there's other times when we're struggling, and we're trying to just put one foot in front of the other. So it's being in a place where you're kind with yourself and you're compassionate, right? Nicoletta says, good advice for someone trapped in a toxic marriage, longing for the day to fly free. <laughs> All right, that's a very deep concept. I'm a single man and I would not want to give anyone marriage advice because I have no idea what to say about that. But in reality, um, seems like the answer is already in front of you. Simon says, Zoe Clarks, I know you feel broken so I don't tell you to have, okay. I will read that comment another time. That's, that's very deep. My man, Simon Bowen from Australia. Wise dude, wise man. I'm gonna read that later on. Very profound. I read a part of it. And Yakalis from Miami, how you doing? She talks about being in a place of acceptance, right? I think in life when you have expectations, you suffer, right? You wake up one morning, and you're sick as a dog. So you have two choices to accept being sick and tired and not being at your best in health or bitching and moaning saying, why am I sick? Why am I just feeling like crap right now? I have so much I have to do. I, I can't deal with this right now. Well, that, guess what? As life is giving you that, that, that beautiful gift of being sick 
and it's your opportunity to slow down and take some time, right? I was um, reading this great book and it was about the importance of rest and sleep in, in this world where we're just inundated with so many things being for our attention. We fail to sleep, we fail to rest, take naps and meditate and the body gives you signs, right? Some people, it's like a badge of honor. I only slept three hours. I'm so productive. Team no sleep, all that crap. Well, I'm all about sleep. I'm all about team naps. In fact, I take two naps a day because I know the importance of slowing down. In the past, when I used to go, 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 I used to get sick. I used to get stressed out and have anxiety. Now, I rest. I take two naps at noon at six o'clock and I'm well rested. My mind is clear. My body's adjusted. I'm dealing with a problem. What do I do? I take a nap. In 20 minutes, the problem goes away. It ain't that serious, right? So it's all about slowing down and not ever being in a place where you have to um, live up to an expectation. Your own acceptance of what is, is the greatest gift you could give yourself. Accepting things as if you had chosen them, embracing them with open arms. I'm gonna leave off with Jared's line. Jared says, perception is reality. If you look at things, oh, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Wayne Dyer, Wayne Dyer, RIP, wise man, powerful quote. That's a great, great, great line. I think about that all the time. Life is perception. Perception is everything, right? You could go through the worst thing, dealing with a, a death, a tragedy, a breakup, terminal illness, but your perception of that specific situation will dictate your reality, right? Why is this happening to me or this is happening for me? There's a lesson in this pain, in this turmoil, and I'm gonna learn the lesson and help other people in the process. Brenda says, everything is temporary. Absolutely, right? Things are going good, wonderful. Things are going bad, wonderful. Life is transient, right? You don't understand how short life is when you really think about it, right? Sometimes we get so caught up in our minds and the problems and the challenges and what's missing, what's lacking, but in reality, it's like, this is a gift, right? Every time you breathe, every time you're alive, every time you're present, it's such a gift. But that's that, I'm gonna run, hoping you have an incredible day. If you're watching this, let me know if you're watching the replay, let me know where you're watching this from. I'm in Philadelphia and it's 9.30 a.m. Sending you lots of love and appreciation, and I'll talk to you soon.